Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see in the title, we're gonna be doing um, a swatch and review fest of the new Burt's Bees Matte Lipsticks. There's six shades in the line, and I got these on Ulta because I saw they just came out and I knew I had to try them. Um, I just did the huge makeup declutter as you guys saw, so I didn't really have as many lipsticks now, so I wanted to try some clean versions, and these, one are super, these ones are super affordable. They're only $6.99 on Ultra's website, plus you can use those coupons, and they always have like buy one, go one 50% off, so these are like a super affordable clean beauty option. Um, yeah, so we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to zoom you guys in, and we're going to go over each of the shades. Okay, so the first shade that we're going to be going over is 425 Buttery Blush. So this is described as a mauve on the website, Ulta's website. And like I said, these are supposed to be matte, so they're not supposed to be super shiny. I need to work on like not bending my head down when I try to swatch these this video. So that's super pretty. It's kind of like a blush sort of pinky mauve shade. It's more on the natural spectrum. This is definitely like a My Lips But Better color. And the formula feels super comfortable. It definitely is matte. It feels kind of um, velvety. It doesn't slide around on your lips at all. But it doesn't feel super drying either. We'll see though after I swatch like a couple of these how they feel. Alright, so this next shade is called Rush of Raspberry number 450. And this is supposed to be a plum and a rose color. So let's see if that's true. They're definitely a tiny bit hard to apply at first because there's a tiny bit of a waxy layer, but once you get it going, it goes on pretty easy. All right. I don't know if I'm 100% seeing the plum in this, but it's definitely like a rosy color. This is really pretty. This is a great summer color because it makes your lips look flushed and like lively. And that's like really cool for a matte shade to do that to your lips. I like this. This is pretty much what my lips look like when I put on a ton of lip products or something and then like rub them or scrub them. So this is another like my lips but better color. Pretty. And again, this is Rush of Raspberry. So the next color we're going to be looking at is Liquid Ruby, number 455, and Ulta describes it as having a reddish hue. Definitely looks red to me, let's see. That's actually really pretty. It's not like a bright, super crazy, in-your-face matte red. But to me, this is more of a wearable red. This is one I would be comfortable wearing um, on like a date night or to work when I want my lips to be my pop of color for the day. I really enjoy this color. At first, I thought it was going on a little bit patchy. The other ones didn't go on patchy at all. At first, I thought it was going a little bit patchy, but I think, again, it was just that outer wax layer that I had to kind of rub off. So for the next three, I'm just going to rub them on my hand first and then apply them just because I think it needs to be warmed up a tiny bit before you apply them for better application. But that's really pretty. Looks good with my eye color too. I like my eye look I have going on. My foundation is like starting to come off. Oh well. Okay, so the next color we're going to look at is 465 Rhubarb Rapids. Um, this is described just as a pinkish hue on Ulta's website, which that kind of looks like what they said. Alright, so I rubbed a little bit back on the back of my hand to see. Okay, this is really pretty too. These are super wearable colors. I'm super impressed. Because I'm not really a bright pink sort of girl as far as lips go. But this color like blends into your natural lip color really well and creates kind of like that custom beautiful pink color. That's super pretty. Love that. It's definitely just like... It's more like a rosy color with a hint more pink. So it's not like super bright. It's definitely like one like one of the shades I would go for first. Okay, so the next shade we're going to be looking at is 475 Liquid Honey. And this is described as a nude caramel hue. Okay, this is going to be like my fall color. 
for sure. You know the application is getting a little bit like dodgy there. Okay, so this is definitely what do they call this? A nude caramel hue. Um, I think it's more of a slightly pinkish brown shade. Um, it's I'm trying to see. A tiny bit like a reddish brown pinky brown it's not um, a caramel I don't think I mean I think of more of just like a straight light brown and I think caramel so if that's also your definition of caramel then yeah so this is really pretty too you can see the difference between the pink one and the nude one on my hand right now I am loving these shades and it feels really nice on my lips even though they're all mattes it's not like drying out my lips as I'm swatching them and typically in like lip swatching videos your lips get like really attacked it's a really aggressive uh, video on your lips but let's do the next one and see what it's like okay so this last one I'm kind of afraid because it looks like a straight-up purple it is 470 puddle of plum and it is described as a plum and berry hues it just says plum and berry hues it's interesting it is like a dark purple yeah that's straight purple all right let's see I don't know about this one but I'm such like a neutrals girl so it's like a chunk came off it's going on super patchy let me see if I add more if it'll fix itself Okay, this is definitely a lipstick where you need to keep applying layers or else it's very patchy. I think because of the shade of purple that it is, um, it's a very dark color. And I feel like this formula, formula works better with the lighter colors because all the other ones look so pretty on. This looks patchy. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this shade. Plums in general and like dark purples aren't really my like go-to. But beyond that... Um, it's definitely patchy. I'm gonna have to try this out, but as far as a first impression, I would probably, if you wanted to buy like all the shades, just skip this one. Um, I think there's better formulas out there for berry lips, and this one is not cutting it. Definitely, if you're gonna wear these, make sure your lips are exfoliated and hydrated. I wouldn't put these on dry lips. They're not drying, of course, but they're not hydrating at all, so it will emphasize texture. Cause this is the last shade I'm trying. It's also probably not fair because this is the last lip swatch, so my lips are probably the driest and the most textured they will be. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind when wearing this shade. Definitely have hydrated lips. Um, if you have anything slick on your lips, I don't think these are gonna adhere. So just make sure they're hydrated, like I said, and then just wipe off any excess oils that are on your lips and then apply these. All right, guys. So final thoughts on these Burt's Bees matte lipsticks. I think these are a great purchase. They're super affordable. They go on very well. Um, I'm going to have to see how long they last. But for me, I don't typically do wear tests on lipsticks because they don't last on me in general. I have to keep applying. But that's fine because I know that's how my lips are. So I just go in knowing that and I don't have a problem with it. They don't catch at all on the inside of your lips, which is great because if I wear a super creamy lipstick, it kind of builds on the inside of my lips and it just looks weird and patchy and gross. So these don't do that and I can tell right away if it's going to happen because literally on me it happens immediately. So I already know from the get-go if it's going to be a good formula. Um, yeah, so I think these are super worth it. I'm kind of impressed by Burt's Bees Beauty. Um, they make clean beauty options really affordable and I'm just I'm loving them. So yeah, go get your hands on these. Definitely Melbury approved. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh wait, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Bye!